Today marks the last day of Croc Trip 2023. Every year we embark on a crocodile research expedition during the month of August to catch crocodiles for science. We've been doing this in conjunction with the University of Queensland for around two decades. And this year, 2023, we had a busy month. We got a grand total of 29 crocodiles over those four weeks and some really significant captures in there. We managed to get Drew, a legendary crocodile that we haven't seen for five years. He's a territorial male, also known as a boss croc. He holds one particular section of the river as his home, as his territory, and it's a very valuable piece of data that we can get from a crocodile like that. We also managed to catch Croc 250 in our study, a crocodile named Glen, measuring in at over 12 feet long. We had a few recaptures from previous years and a few recaptures from the same year. That means crocodiles that we've caught, we've attached all of our tracking devices to them, released them, and then they've come back in the trap literally a few days later, which is always good to see that our catching methods don't affect the crocodiles whatsoever. Up here, we use all the same trapping techniques that Dad came up with, and to this day, not one single thing has changed. And on that note of legacy carrying on in Dad's footsteps, we also put in a new trap in a section of river that was Dad's favourite. It's a spot called Tent Pole Creek, right at the mouth of this little tributary off the main Wenlock River on the downstream reaches. Big mud banks, lots of mangroves, an incredibly crocodile prolific spot. Now the last time we were in there was 2004. We went back set a trap in there, and lo and behold, we caught a crocodile. We named him Captain America. He was a big, dominant male, seemed like a fitting name, but as we got closer, we realised he'd had a tracking device before. We compared images taken from the 2004 croc research trip and this current one, and were able to pinpoint that this croc was probably a crocodile named Weldon that Dad caught almost 20 years ago. We are so proud of our research, so proud of all the new crocs that we've got added to the study, and we can't wait for next year.